Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for you and welcome back to my kitchen. What's for dinner, you ask? We are making a super simple beef stroganoff. And what are we gonna serve that with? Some amazing homemade noodles. Now you don't have to make homemade noodles for this. You can go in the freezer section and those noodles there seem like they're homemade. Or at the bottom of the pasta section in the aisle, you can usually find extra wide egg noodles. Those are super tasty with this too. So stay tuned to this recipe and please subscribe below. Okay, I am frying up a pound to a pound and a half of ground beef with one medium to large onion. That depends on you. Once our ground beef is browned, I'm adding mushrooms and summer squash. Now, do people add these vegetables? Not always. I always have to add vegetables in. We're going to put one tablespoon of Worcestershire in. If you love Worcestershire, put two in. We're gonna put a teaspoon of paprika and then two scoops of my minced garlic that you should start making. We're gonna get this all nice and blended together and let those vegetables cook down a bit. I forgot to add a half teaspoon of mustard there. If you don't have mustard, it's fine. Dried mustard is what I put in. So I'm blending that in there. Now I'm putting in three tablespoons of extra fine flour. I use the extra fine because I could just stir it right in and it doesn't get lumpy like if you use regular flour and how you have to blend it with a liquid first. Okay, now for beef broth. I'm using this Maggie beef granule flakes and mix it with four cups of water. Now, normally I use a much higher end organic beef base, but I didn't have any and my mom had given me this, so I used it. So we are gonna let that come to a boil. Then we're adding a half a package of cream cheese and about a half a cup of sour cream. Now if you want it super creamy, add more of both, add more of one or the other, that's fine. Let's get this all blended together and then we're going to do the taste test. More pepper. That's good. More pepper and it's tasty. Time to cook the pasta. Look at how beautiful this pasta is. It's long, gorgeous yellow ribbons. Also, notice how it sinks to the bottom. That's what it's supposed to do. We're gonna give it a nice toss in our salted water and then eventually it's gonna all pop to the top like that. That's when you know you're about done. So now's the time that you wanna try it. You don't want it to, when you bite into it, you don't wanna see any white in the center or any dry parts in the center. Now, you know I couldn't leave it without throwing in some greens and a handful of chopped parsley. I put the lid on this and let those greens steam a little bit and then I stir it all up and oh man, now it's time to incorporate our pasta. Wow, this was such an incredible, easy weeknight meal. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Thank you so much for watching this recipe. If you're interested in learning how to make homemade sourdough noodles, the link is right here. And also the link for how you make sourdough starter will be there also.